In 1927, Alto won a competition for Vipuri City Library. At the time, the city was a thriving industrial and commercial port city, but fell into disrepair after losing Vipuri to the Soviet Union. In 2010, there was funding from the Finnish government and Soviet Union for a complete restoration. Alvar Alto is a Finnish architect most well known for architecture, city planning, and furniture design. His reputation is known for his modernist refinement, indigenous materials, and personal expression in form and detail. He was commissioned at the same time for three of his most important buildings, including Vapuri Library. Libraries were a life motif in Alto's work, a theme to which he returned time and time again. He defines his work as a result of his inspiration in the mountains and cliffs bathed in sunlight. The book pit suggestively alludes to literature as a man's underlying spiritual foundation and the architectural core of the library is the reading areas at different levels. The 3D per T diagram consists of three main clusters in massing. The first one is the entryway, which is framed apart and extended out from the rest, then leading to the lecture hall and administrative rooms. And the largest massing all the way to the left contains various reading areas and the children's library. The floor plans show the various structural elements within the walls. The form is relatively the same for all three floors with slight adjustments to the overall massing of each floor. There are multiple ways to ascend to each floor and there are also multiple mini levels within the floors where a staircase descends down a few feet to a lower elevation. The section cuts through the larger rectangle of the massing and looks towards the south wall. It depicts the reading rooms, bookshelves, and various features of the changing elevations through stairs and ramps. The mini levels within the three floors are depicted very clearly in this drawing, and through this section you are able to see just how deep the skylights cut into the ceiling. This section cuts through the longer, thinner rectangle in the overall massing. It cuts through the main auditorium hall, highlighting its unique curved ceiling structure. The second floor features the administrative offices, and the basement floor is used for storage. Unlike the previous section, there is no change in elevation within these floors themselves. The axonometric drawing explodes the three floor plans and roof structure. The floor plans include a basement level floor plan that is more private, the ground floor plan which includes the main entrance to the space, the second floor plan which is dedicated primarily to the book stacks, and the unique roof structure. The structure of the building includes reinforced concrete floors and columns. Reinforced concrete is concrete with steel embedded into it that acts together in resisting forces. The steel rods, bars, or mesh absorb tensile shear and sometimes compressive stress in a concrete structure. This allows for the structure to be strengthened. The circulation of the complex interior arrangement captures the essence of Alto's design in the Vapuri Library. The spaces are defined primarily by the changes in elevation. He capitalizes on the resulting transition areas by giving them program with reading platforms and bookshelves, which is shown on the right. The program for the library starts with the more private space in the basement with stock rooms and the children's library. Then the ground floor level has a lecture hall, reading room, and book stacks, which are all shown in the images on the right. This also has a circulation desk. The top floor has an administrative offices, book stacks, and a reading room. The drawing to the left shows all the significant program spaces and transitional spaces as volumes. The volumes include the height of the spaces, which some include double height like the entry point. The volume shapes translate to the exterior of the library, which gives a massing and simplistic facade feel. The spatial sequencing first includes the entry point of the library, which leads to the lecture hall and then reading rooms. Then point four is a transition space to the upstairs with a decorative staircase. When arriving to the upper level, there is a circulation desk followed by the main library space with large book stacks. The library is located in the central park of Vyborg, Russia. Vyborg was once called Vipuri and was part of Finland prior to World War II. The library has three entrances with its main one on the north facade that is directly accessible from the main street that runs parallel to the surrounding parks. The other two entrances are on the east and south. The key details of the library consist of the lighting with the use of round skylights above, the ceiling used in the lecture hall with its unique curvatures and wood paneling used for acoustics, the reading area that forms a pit on the top floor, and then 
other unique ways of circulation throughout the library. Sound is an important aspect of the famous lecture hall in the Vapuri Library. The ceiling was designed with ripples made of wood slats for the best sound propagation. The acoustic diagram made by Alto, shown on the slide, allows for the human ear to hear more perfectly. This merges scientific reasoning with artistic imagination. Lighting is one of the primary considerations in the library. Alto designed a perforated ceiling with 57 round skylights. Due to their conical shape, no direct sunlight enters. This design choice was made so that readers could take their books anywhere in the library without being bothered. Large windows are also a key feature of daylighting. Brick, glass, concrete, wood, and various metals are the main materials used in the library. The structure is made of both pillars and reinforced concrete. The exterior of the building is red brick that is completely coated in white aside from the glass and the entranceway. Wood is used in various parts of the interior and plays a key role in the acoustics of the lecture hall. Some interior perspectives of the library consist of administrative offices to the top left, followed by the children's library, the upstairs reading area with stairs that descend into the pit, the round circulation desk, and the entranceway with its large amount of daylighting. Some key exterior perspectives are one of the main staircases right next to the entryway for convenient circulation, the back side of the building showing the lecture hall and administrative offices, the contrast of the entranceway with the rest of the building, and the other half of the back facade of the building, which shows the entrance to the children's library. Through this precedent study, we evaluated the floor plans and sections of the Vapuri Library, as well as analyzing aspects of structure, circulation, program, volume, and spatial sequencing by exploding each floor plan in three dimensions. The images at the top right corner also highlight the overall design of Vapuri Library.